What's up everybody? Welcome back to Vivid Iceland once again. Today we are still on the south coast in a tiny little village called Kvalsvetlur. I'm gonna put that name up on the screen uh, because I even struggled with pronouncing this one for the longest time and a little known fact about Vivid Iceland, I actually lived in this town for a year when I first moved to Iceland. So what's the deal with this place? It's uh, one of those sort of drive-through villages uh, that are on that's on the ring road here in the south and uh, there's a big gas station in addition to quite a few good places to eat. There's a nice lava center that's worth checking out and a couple of good hikes around the area. So let's see what we can find today. First things first, I decided to take a quick walk around this church located on the edge of the village. The church is hidden behind a small collection of trees which gives it a peaceful atmosphere. I spent quite a few hours laying in the sunlight on the grassy hills around it while waiting for my trusty car to be fixed at the local mechanics. From here there is a nice stroll through a wooded pathway where you'll find some exercise equipment and there are a few of these exercise stations scattered around the village so keep your eyes open for them. And only a few minutes away is the local swimming pool and hot tubs. I can tell you I've spent many an evening here after my glacier tours. Next up is the Lava Center, one of the best interactive museums I've ever been to. With incredibly detailed information about the volcanic history of the island, this museum is a must visit for anyone passing through the area. Driving a little outside of town will take you to a forested area known as Tumastavir. This place is maintained by the Icelandic Forest Service and is a delightful spot to stop and enjoy what little trees this island has. If you recall my last video in the east, I visited a forest in Kirkjubarja Kloister which I hope I pronounced correctly. Uh, anyway, I'll put a link up in the top for this one. Um, this is where I promised to make a video about trees and forests in Iceland. Uh, well, that's still on the cards. I just need a little bit more footage. Anyway, there are many branching trails within the forest, all worth exploring as you never know what you may find. It's quite rare to be in a forest here in Iceland, so I do like to take my time here and enjoy the serenity. Continuing further down the road, we reach Thorsteins Lunder, also featured in a previous video, which I'll link up the top and also in the description. This is one of my favorite spots in all of Iceland. It's always so tranquil here, especially now with all the intense greenery and flowers blooming around the cascading waterfall. As always, I will be leaving all locations featured in the video in the description below.
finally, I finished up the day with a quick drive to Glugafoss. This was also featured in the South Coast Backcountry video where we hiked up to the top of it. Check out that video for more. Right, so that about wraps it up for this video here in Korsvetlod. Sun is setting now, finally it's, uh, yeah, we get a bit of night here in Iceland and I think I'm going to finish the day with a little bit of ice cream from my favorite uh, ice cream shop called Valdis, which is here in Korsvetlod. So I can recommend getting one of these. Uh, they also do sort of milkshakes and a whole bunch of other tasty stuff, so go check them out. But uh, until next time, we'll see you in the next episode.